Hello and welcome to White Glove Reviews. In this video, with Christmas coming up, I figure what I would do is I would talk about some stocking stuff. Yeah, I still can't say it. Some stocking stuffer options when it comes to buying someone a pin. And if you saw my other video talking about a stocking stuffer journal, a pocket journal, this would be a nice pin. A, a nice pen and, and one that's enjoyable to write with that you can get to go along with the journal and you can just give this to someone who you think might enjoy writing things down taking notes that kind of thing in a pocket journal now a couple of things about my stocking stuff or pen choices mainly what I was I was after is something that was relatively inexpensive and by relatively expensive, I mean under $10 is the ideal. And these are my favorite pen choices for that price range. And I got to tell you, a couple of these pens, these are, these are pens that I use daily. Except maybe for this one. This one's kind of been replaced by more fun choices. But these are pens that I've been using regularly lately. Now, let me talk about a couple of these, and I'll include links to all these in the description if you're interested in these. The first one I want to talk about is the Pilot, I'm sorry, this is a Papermate, the Papermate Inkjoy. And this is a multi pen, and it's very similar to one of the old traditional, like the blue and white one. Now, the thing about this is the Inkjoy is pretty comfortable to write with, and that's really why I have it on this why I have it out here these also are very inexpensive uh, you should be able to get them for like a buck or two at one point I got a box of these for like twelve dollars for like twelve of them so they're very inexpensive and also if you happen to have a bunch of stockings to stuff and you want to give just a stocking stuffer pin to everybody stocking stuffer pin ah still it's so hard to say that you can get a box of these for like 12 bucks, and you get 12 of them, and you can give everybody a couple of pens. And they're, they're surprisingly comfortable to write with, considering how inexpensive they are. Now, the next, this is, and this is the Papermate Inkjoy Quattro. Now, the next one that I really have enjoyed writing with, this is a Pilot Metro. And this one is a fountain pen. And it's a very good starter fountain pen. It's my starter fountain pen that I've been using the most, and I've enjoyed writing with it. It's it's pretty comfortable to write with. It's relatively low maintenance as fountain fountain pens goes. It takes a cartridge, and like I said, it's under ten dollars. And there are tons of different color choices and different designs you can get with this one, and I'll include links to some of those. And now, this next these next three actually are hands down my favorite new pen for writing and I've been I've been writing with these a lot this is the pen that I've grabbed probably the most when I'm sitting at my desk and this is the Pentel Intergel and this particular model is the Intergel alloy and the difference between this one and the normal disposable Intergels is their metal and being made of metal it's a little bit heavier than the normal ones, than the normal plastic ones, and it is, it's just much more pleasant to write with. It feels, the, the inner gels are very smooth to write with normally, and they're also pretty left-handed person friendly, so they, they dry very quickly. And the, the extra little bit of weight from the aluminum versus the plastic, it makes them just much more enjoyable to handle. And you have a couple of different options for these. These are three possible color options. I got a red one because I'm partial to red for stuff I carry around. But there's like a chrome and a or silver and a black. And I think there's a couple more. I'll include links for those as well. Now, this one right here, it's a platinum preppy, and this is kind of a disposable fountain pen. This is a disposable fountain pen that takes cartridges, but it is inexpensive enough to be considered disposable if you want to get a fountain pen for someone who you have no idea if they're going to love or hate fountain pens. These, I want to say, run about $2. I 
I got a pack of like seven of them in a bunch of different colors, and I want to say the pack was like twelve dollars, something like that. So they run about two dollars each. So if you want to give someone a fountain pen to let them try it out, and you're not a hundred percent sure if they're gonna like it, or if you just want to say you know it's gonna get lost, that kind of thing, and I mean it's not a tragedy to lose a seven dollar pen, but I would be a little bit sad if I lost one of these. It is less of a tragedy to lose like this pen or this pen, that kind of thing. I mean, a lot of times you're going to lose a pen sometimes. Well, I'm sorry. Frequently, pens, especially the inexpensive pens that you don't, they're not expensive enough to want to keep track of, they tend to get lost. Now, the other ones I want to, the next ones I want to talk about is this is the journal that I carry around with me on a daily basis. And although I do swap out pens a lot, one of the pens that I almost always have in here is I have a couple of Parker Jotters. And the Parker Jotters, I, I like the Clicky Top pen. These are also pretty inexpensive. You can you can actually get them for probably six or seven dollars on Amazon if you shop around, depending on which ones you get. Now these I didn't like the I didn't like the normal Parker ink cartridges, so I got some Monteverde gel ink cartridges, er, and they're they're a lot more comfortable to write with with the Monteverdes. And I also I like I like a lot of the colors with the Monteverde ink. And I carry a green one, a red one, and a black one with me. And I, I do this because these are convenient colors for me to have for work. Now, the last thing is this is a Pilot Coletto, and this is a High Tech C. And this is a Coletto 4, which means it takes four different colors of ink. You can get a 2, 3, 4, or 5. And the deal with this is this is a multi pen very similar to this one, very similar to the Inkjoy Quattro with a couple of differences. One, it's you can easily swap out the ink if you want. You just basically have these little refills and you can get them in a bunch of different colors and apparently oh, there we go. You can get them in a bunch of different colors and as you can probably tell from the noticeable wear on mine I've used this pen a lot. The only problem that I've seen with this kind of with this particular pen, and I think it's probably an issue with a lot of the multi pens in general, is these tend to actually run out of ink more quickly. You can get a Coletto four or five, and a container of ten different color refills on Amazon for like twelve dollars. I'll include a link in the description for that too. I prefer the four over the five because the four is a little, the five is a little thick. It's not a, it's not a lot thicker than this. It's not so it's like super uncomfortable to write with, but I just generally prefer a little bit thinner pen in this case. Anyway, if you are interested in stuck, eh, stuffing some stockings with a pen to maybe just give someone a pen, or if you want to. Give someone a pen to go along with the pocket journal, you got them. I think these are some pretty good options, and I'll include links in the description if you want to check any of these out. And I'll try to make the information about them as descriptive as possible. Now, if you haven't already seen it, I also have a video, and I'll include a link at the end, in the little end part of the video, where I talk about a stocking stuffer pocket journal. So if you're interested in stuffing a stocking, I said it right that time, with a pen and a journal to go along with it, that might be an option. Anyway, if you think I have neglected any pens that absolutely positively should be on the inexpensive stocking stuffer list, please let me know in the comments. Or if you happen to have one of the pens and love or hate it, let me know what you think. And if you've enjoyed this video, Please like and subscribe, and I hope you all have an excellent day and a Merry Christmas.